Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Now, as many of you know, our journey in Mexico, sharing the beauty of Mexico, started right here along this stretch of coastline. Almost exactly. Now, we've been sharing our videos for over two years now, and we have started to realize that through sharing our videos, we're extremely limited in the beauty and the pieces that we can share of Mexico. It's limited to uh, our storytelling abilities. Our the, bad jokes. Our bad jokes, <laughs> our video editing, yeah. um, and sort of bringing you guys along virtually yes. for um, all of these expeditions and adventures that we go on. And we have been brainstorming and brainstorming about a way we can bring, we can share the beauty of Mexico and bring a tangible slice of the treasures that this land has to offer is directly into your home. With that said, we, our new taco shipping business has started. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I only wish. Now, like I said, our adventures started right here in Vallarta, and we happened to find one of the coolest pieces of artwork here that we've seen in all of our travels. Uh, I'm not exaggerating when I say that all of our visitors, we took them straight to this spot to check out this guy's artwork because it is that unique, it is that cool. We hope to show you guys that today and be able to buy some to bring directly to you. Let's head that way. We are walking on an island in Vallarta, the Isla Rio Cuale. It's like an island right, yeah. I believe it's a man-made island, right in the middle of the uh, one of the main rivers here in town. And it's basically where you'll find a lot of... Uh, tons of souvenirs. Tons of souvenirs. Some of it, uh, some of it handmade, some of it not. Uh, a little bit of everything. It's definitely, if you've never been to Mexico, if you've never been to Vallarta, you definitely have to check out this yeah. region because the and diversity it's and it's and nice there are guanas. <laughs> and there's pretty good food through here as well so one of our missions through this is uh, not necessarily just to sell this artwork although that will obviously help some of these artisans but is to highlight highlight their work tell you where they're at and our goal really so, sorry 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 <laughs> sorry mis amigos mexicanos este uh, because we're mainly trying to, our main goal is to to uh, sell this work in the United States uh, and potentially Canada, yeah. I don't know. We're basically wherever, not in Mexico. If you're living in Mexico, we do not encourage you to buy the products from us. We encourage you to come directly to uh, to the craftsman, to the artist and buy it, buy it uh, here in Mexico. Yeah, so. we're just aiming to provide an easier means for people who don't live in these lands to uh, get to experience a little piece of Mexico in their own home. Okay amigos, here it is. I'm very excited. We're going to speak with Rey, Rey El Rey. <laughs> Ray El Rey will show you some of his artwork. Hillary's gonna, uh, Hillary's gonna talk to him. He's, uh, he's a wonderful guy and uh, an even better uh, artist. And uh, his work is, is amazing. I think you'll think it's special. Okay, how long will it take you to finish that? This picture? Uh-huh. And two days or three days. Two or three days. Two days. Let me see if I can. And what's on the back? It's a uh, wax. Wax. Uh -huh. You stick on the wax. What kind of way is the abeja? Cera de abeja. Uh-huh. Sí. Wow. E campeche. Cera de campeche. Ah, okay. okay. And then he basically has all of this beautiful colored straw. And how do you get the straw color? It's, uh, it's pintura de anilina. Uh, with closed dye. Oh, okay, with okay. Closed dye. So he dyes all of the straw these awesome colors. And what is your favorite one to make? Favorite? Uh -huh. 
abstract. Ah, uh, okay. Images. See? Yeah, I like the abstract one too because it's a perfect little pop of color. Uh, he has tons to choose from. How long have you been here? Uh, working? Uh huh. Uh, 19 years. 19, 19 years. years. How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tiene? 70. 70. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> También 90. <laughs> Where do you buy the the what do you call it the yeah, the, the wax Where the do you wax buy that? or like where's Where? the, the the wax from? I prepare it myself. Oh. Ah. I, prepare it. I, I buy it separate. Uh -huh. and you make it, it all yeah. together. And what about the straw? Where's the this? This is from the hills. Need to cut it from the hills. Okay, in in Jalisco. In Mexico is too hot. Need a gold place. Ah, okay. Next, next to the Mexico. Ah, okay, okay. Need to think of anything else? Let's go shopping. <laughs> So difficult part of choosing which one. He has so many amazing ones. He's got like this one of these uh, looks like here in Vallarta, these little buildings, and actually goes with connects connects with this one, which I think is super cool. The detail, once you really look at it, the detail of that is amazing. I believe these take around three to four hours uh, to create this size. And the bigger one he's working on right now will take him uh, several days. That one's going to take him a while, but he likes some of the more abstract ones that he creates. Like our friend Dana is an abstract artist. That's, uh, it's that's so, so cool. So cool. The fact that, I mean, we make these stupid videos, and the fact that there's a real artists that make real art, it's, it's, uh, awesome. it's inspiring. Gracias amigo. Sí, hemos viajado mucho por México, casi a mitad de los estados y tiene el mejor arte en México. Sí, sí es muy impresionante. Gracias, eh. Gracias. How cool is that art in better Raymond? And, uh, I was gonna say I was gonna say Raymundo, but Rey. I was gonna say how better, how much better can it get than the art, the artist. The artist, and I think uh, this is a prime example of like our ability to share his story is fairly limited. Uh, we're not journalists and we really have no idea what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, there's several questions we forgot to ask him, one of which we I asked off camera was how he started making yeah. this art and his, his primo, his cousin taught him and they have, uh, he said they, they have some in Cancun and he may have mentioned somewhere else in Mexico. So it's a yeah. family, it's a family ordeal, family business and uh, it really is one of the more unique yep. types we've of art we've We've never seen anything seen. like it anywhere else. Yeah, and whether, uh, I don't know, hopefully just sharing his his uh, his story is valuable in and of itself. Yeah. And, and uh, hopefully you come and come to Vallarta. Don't buy, don't buy uh, the stuff we're selling. Don't buy his art from us. Come to Vallarta and yeah. buy it because, well, it's Vallarta and you get to meet the artist. Tell himself. him we said hi. Uh, his location is, so if you come on the Rio Cuale, if you come on the, the island, I would start on the water side. Ocean side. And you're going to walk. Almost until you hit a uh, an overpass, yeah. a bridge. We'll see if we can map it in the description below. Yeah. And that is where uh, Ray will be. And tell him 
tell him we said hi mm -hmm. and tell him we sent you, I guess. I don't know. Is that what people Tell do? him we think his art is the coolest. Now, we tried to tell him, but we didn't want to, like, fangirl too hard. We tried over and over in several different ways to tell him his art is one of the coolest things we've seen in the entire country. So do us a favor and tell him that as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Greg, huh. stop, there's smoke coming. No, there's not. <laughs> <laughs> she got caught. <laughs> if only we could export <laughs> raspados. <laughs> They're delicious. Duh, and nutritious. <laughs> Alright, amigos, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, different video exploring uh, art here in Mexico. There's so much. Uh, we have yet to we've yet to really explore and, and learn about in terms of art and culture in Mexico and uh, we need your help yep and we need you to let us know where we should go next what we should find like what is the best uh, art in Mexico what is the best crafts in Mexico yeah what are the best ways we can showcase Mexico by bringing little treasures teeny tiny teeny tiny treasures other than tacos and restaurants <laughs> straight to you yes uh, obviously we're we are going to continue living in and traveling mexico but i think now we have uh, an extra yeah. little purpose in our travels in that uh pretty much the the reason we came to vallarta this time was to to get this specific art from el rey el rey and uh we we got a trip planned to uh the state Tell. of eh, for something, <laughs> another. We have a few trips planned just for the purpose of, of yeah. finding good art already and finding good craft. Yeah. So please, please help us out. And uh, the artwork you saw today will be available on our website, alwayscontodo.com. Yeah, well, as you guys know by now, we always say siempre con todo, and as that started as a way that Greg ordered his tacos, meaning um, he wants his tacos with lime and salsa and with everything. onions and pineapple and the kitchen sink, it sort of transformed over time to mean so much more than that yeah. to us, and to us it sort of means in its simplest terms, uh, live life to the fullest. Um, reach for adventure, grab for adventure, always give everything you've got. It sort of encompasses our lifestyle and we hope to uh, be able to share a little tiny slice of that on our website. Like Greg said, it's www.alwayscontodo.com. You can grab today's art along with other goodies and so much more coming soon. Additionally, I would like to say with Always Con Todo, an idea behind this as well is you will know everything you'll know todo about the products yeah. you sell from where where we found them and who made them and just the, the as much the stories we can gather about them so that's an, an additional idea amigos my respado is melting yeah it is thank you all so much for watching be sure to subscribe to our channel click that little bell that way you get notified God, the we post a video and we'll see you guys in the next one amigos bye bye, bye.